All right, so now we're doing a bench test of the QS138 motor and the FAR Driver 96530 controller. Um, I've got everything queued up here. This is kind of like a bench tester board that I put together. I explain it more in another video that I have. But basically, you have the battery here. It's a 24S, 20 amp hour LiPo battery. And this is powering this uh, buck converter, this DC-DC converter through this switch. So when I flip that switch, this converter will give me 12 volts and that 12 volts will power this relay. And then this relay does a number of things. First of all, the ignition for the controller is connected to the relay here. So this is actually the um, high voltage side of the relay. And um, when, when it gets 12 volts, it'll open this relay and I'm gonna get high voltage to the ignition uh, connection of the controller. So that's gonna you know, effectively turn the controller on. Then the, that high voltage will go to the DC-DC converter and this will power all of my accessories. And the only accessory that I have it powering currently is the contactor. So once I, once this DC DC converter is activated, I can use this switch to send 12 volts to the contactor and close the contactor. And then I also have a pre-charge resistor here. So basically that's the way the whole system works. Uh, I already did the learn operation for the controller. That's basically where you, the motor runs in both directions and kind of, I, I guess, figures out the hall position or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what the learn function does for the far driver controllers. But basically I have this basic setup here. The only things I have attached is the ignition. This is the throttle. Um, this is the Bluetooth dongle to run the far driver app. Of course I have my hall sensor connection there. And this would be like my high speed, low speed connection. You know, I would just, it's basically a three way switch between these three. And then they give you this dongle here. So if you plug this in, it basically um, sets it to high speed permanently. But I'm just leaving it this way. And with nothing connected, it's like medium speed. And then the other way is low speed. So let's turn this thing on and uh, we'll get the motor spinning. So once I turn the key switch here, as you can see, you have 93 volts. That's the current voltage of the battery. And then my solid state relay is now activated. I'm getting 93 volts through this ignition line and that's going to my controller, which is now on. So then I can activate the contactor and basically I can run the motor. So that's medium speed. And if you plug this in, this will now run at high speed. Pretty cool.